waking up in the consciousness. I'm about to explain some facts to you that might elevate your mind state. Today, I'm gonna to be talking to you about food, drink, and the things that we put into our bodies. All things are made of atoms. You heard me say this before in many of my breakdowns. So today I'm gonna to show you the connection of the atom. First of all, that's in the body, and then the atom that's in the non-living thing, like metal and wood, and then the atom that's in the living thing. The atom in itself is a hollow instrument. The atom is 99% air, every atom. 1% matter. Now, the 99% air is, is in, in general terms, we say air. But if we talk in master terms, then that 99% of that cell, of that atom, is light. Except with our eyes, we can't see every color in the spectrum. So, but up under conditions and magnifying glasses with the right technology, now we can see that the cell is 1% dark matter, 99% light spectrum. Now, up under observation, the atom opens, closes. One, zero, one, zero, just like a computer code. But it does this consciously according to its environment. Now, inside of you and me, we have atoms. And these atoms are not only receiving signals from other atoms, but also through the light spectrum, sending signals. And we can capture this in modern day technology through science in the way that we use uh, equipment, digital to equipment to catch the infrared and the ultraviolet in different rays when the mind works and the body works. Now the food we eat, which at one time was a living thing. When the atoms of the food join together with other atoms, then what you have is what we call a molecular compound. Once you have a compound, a group of atoms, like a sugar complex, or the sugar compound, once you have the compound, then the atoms are working together, unified as a group for a common cause. This is nature. Combined with science, combined with spirituality. Now, when you kill the food that you're about to eat, the atoms go into a reverse composition, and that reverse composition we call decay. So the atoms are still moving they just start to move in the opposite direction. They start to move from light to dark. Now, the quicker you eat your food after you kill it, and they call this fresh, fresh vegetables or fresh meat or fresh bread, then the atoms have went into the transition of changing into a decaying compound and you trying to eat it, get it into your body before the decaying start. Now listen closely as we flow through the cosmos and I tell you about the inner system. If you keep the food in your system too long, then that food can start to decay in your system, in your meat suit and cause you physical problems. So if you eat that stuff, then you have to burn that stuff. It don't matter what you eat, you have to burn it. See, if you eat too much of something, it could be bad for you. If you don't eat enough, 
it could be bad for you. But if you put just the right amount of nutrients into your body when your body call for it and eat only the freshest of the freshest, only the tastiest of the tasty, into your meat soup, put only the best fuel, the high grade. And when you put this food into your body, the atoms in the food start to communicate with the atoms in your stomach. The stomach then already picked up signals from the mouth, the nose, the eyes, and the esophagus, the tongue, the teeth, and the gums then all sent signals by way of atom communication to the stomach to say, get ready, this is what we sending you. When the food the, the molecular compound, if you cooked it, fried it, baked it, or put it together, you then change the atom structure, and because it's going into the transition of decay, it then became a compound, and now the compound as a group, as a group is talking to your stomach. And if your stomach is unified, and the atoms in your stomach is sending signals, then the food and the stomach is communicating without the brain. The stomach is saying, by way of electric light through the spectrum, communicating with the food, and the food is saying yes or no, one or zero. Are you good for me to eat? The tongue then already said this is sweet. The nose then said this is, it smells so good. The eyes then said this is pleasing to the eyes. The tongue then said, I tasted it. I'm sending it down. We have a good sweet meal. But the stomach still questions it by way of communication from Adam of the human body to Adam of the food he's consuming. If this is bad food and the stomach does not agree, then the stomach may communicate with the liver or with the heart and say, I have something bad here. And I want to let you know that this ain't going to work out right for us. But the, 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 the mind, the universal mind does not know this. And yet when we send the universal mind signals, the universal mind is not picking up on the signals that we, the stomach, the liver, and the kidneys, and the heart is sending. So the stomach and the rest of the organ starts to reject or accept. If the atoms in the organs of the body accepts the bad atoms of the food, high cholesterol, high sugar, high sugar compounds, when it accepts the high fat, trans fat, when it accepts this and it processes it, now the body is saying, we know something bad gonna happen, we have to communicate this to the mind. So the mind can change the eating habits of the meat suit so we can have better fuel, we can burn better fuel, and we can live longer on this planet. When the atoms of the food talk to the atoms of the mind and bypass the atoms of the stomach, then the mind can communicate with the food before the food is processed. When we look at our food and meditate on our food, we automatically start to change the structure of the atoms in the food because the food itself is conscious. And when we observe the food, it's either going to shut down or it's going to light up. And if we meditate with a high positive energy on our food, then the atom structure rises in a group, in a compound unification to give the body the nutrients and the fuel it needs. Good fuel, you must burn that fuel and the results will be long life. You must pray over your food Meditate over your food. Let your mind speak directly to your food before you ingest it. Therefore, the stomach, the heart, the kidneys, and the liver all are in agreement with the mind 
and working at the best benefit for you and your body. Until we speak again, we are what we eat. Stay conscious. Peace.